devour. Devour. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. All right, everyone. What is going on? And welcome to Feasting with the King. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> what are we doing? Vietnamese food, take two. So this time around, you guys voted. You said you want, uh, you know, you want Vietnamese food again. So I said, if we're going to get pho again, we've got to get something that's more normal. I ordered seafood pho, and this has shrimp, uh, fish balls, fish cakes, and something else. I don't even know what it is. We'll look at it together. I'm not sure. I don't think it's squid or octopus. It's some other kind of fish. I don't even know what it is, but it's pieces in there. And then there's, as you can see there, there's also some basil, a couple of jalapenos, um, noodles, all right? But I didn't put everything in. It wouldn't really fit. Like, I feel like if I was um, in the restaurant, it definitely would have been, like, much better. But because I'm here, you know, I have to combine everything myself and everything. Uh, and by the way, it showed up cold, but I warmed it up in the microwave. Now it's quite warm, so it should be pretty good. So we got seafood pho. And then we've got a noodle bowl. This is the beef lemongrass sesame noodle bowl. Look at that. You got delicious beef in some kind of a, a, a sauce with, I guess, lemongrass and sesame over it. And then you got mixed veggies with it. I see scallions. I see like a little side salad. Um, all kinds of stuff in there. All right. So I'm excited to try that. It smells really good. Like it smells... Oh my God. That smells really, really good. So I actually think I want to start with the noodle bowl. I've never had a Vietnamese noodle bowl before. So I actually want to try this. By the way, there is a sauce, but I don't know what it is. I think it might be a fish sauce, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to put that to the side for now, over here. And what I like to do is taste the individual ingredients first, then maybe put some of the sauce on it and see what, it, what it's like, okay? All right, so let's taste. We got a fork. So first thing, obviously the first thing I want to taste is a piece of the beef, right? Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a big piece. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Pretty good. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Ah! My disgusting pig like mouth. Do you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? It's moist, it's full of flavor, it's tender, mm. it's got saltiness, a little bit of sweetness, but mostly saltiness. That's delicious beef, for sure. We got a big mi mix of things. I think this is just cucumber. Devour. Okay. Devour. Some kind of like a mesh of mixed greens, which I'm assuming is just lettuce. Devour. Devour. Yeah. It's like a shredded, lightly shredded lettuce. Over here, I'm not even sure what this is. Devour. Devour. Hmm. Carrot. It's carrot and it's something else shredded up. And right next to it is nice, a nice pile of peanuts here. Devour. Devour. Mm. Crunchy peanuts. That's good. Now, you know, I want to try some of the noodle. The rice noodle, which I think is underneath here. Here it is. <laughs> So here's the right actual rice noodle. Okay. Devour. Devour. It tastes good, but it's a little bland. I think it's intended to mix everything together and put that sauce on it and see how the sauce tastes as well. Duh! Like, how stupid can you be? And another piece of beef. Devour. Devour. The beef, the beef is the star of the dish. The beef is very full of flavor. It was obviously sautéed in a sauce when they cooked it. I love the red meat. All right. Let's, let's try the, the pho. Here's the pho. Seafood pho. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. All right. So I'd like to try various things in it because this thing has a lot in it, a lot of different ingredients. You see the stuff floating in there? All kinds of stuff is floating in there. See that? Okay. Immediately I can tell you it's going to be more appetizing than that oxtail pho that we had last year because that was nasty. All right, this smells good. So first thing I like to do is just taste the broth, okay? Let's taste the broth. I guess these are fish cakes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm, that broth is delicious. Because it's got... It's savory, but it's sweet at the same time, and it's got an air of, like, herbs. Like, whatever they cook in it. 
has this herby smell to it. I'm sure they make a ridiculous amount of this every day, right? I've never had one of these before. A fish ball. I'm about to try it. Devour. Devour. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Like, I'm actually disgusted. Do you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? It tastes like fish. It just tastes like, like fish that was shaped into a ball. I don't even know what kind of fish that was. It was the consistency of fish, and it tasted exactly like you would expect fish to taste. A fishy flavor. It's good. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. I think this is a fish cake. Okay, I think this is a fish cake. Can you see it? No, you can't. Hold on. See that? Fish cake. I'm gonna try that now. Devour. Devour. Hmm. That's interesting. It's an interesting texture. Wow! It's not, it's, it's not a, um, it's not like a tentacle from calamari, and it's not a tentacle from, uh, octopus. I don't know what it is. It's got a weird, a weird, like, like, consistency on it, like a design. I don't know what it is. No, it's not fish's private parts. Of course, people have to be gross. <laughs> I'm being serious if anyone knows what it is. Devour. Devour. Oh! Oh! Benefit. Oh! And, uh, Keep your mouth closed during a meal. I'm gonna go with squid. I'm gonna go with squid. It kind of tastes like squid. Big shrimp. Yummy. Let's have it. Let's have it and not get the noodle. Ah! Come on. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Mmm. That is nasty. <laughs> It might simply be because the shrimp is something I'm used to. I've never eaten fish balls, fish cakes, or whatever that piece of squid was. But man, that shrimp tasted delicious. Full of flavor, and it actually had the, the broth flavoring kind of absorbed into it. And the broth is so good. Let me fucking unleash the beast. That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Relax. Some people just can't control themselves. Phil has gouty fat butt. Devour. Devour. Mm. Wow, that's good. Disgusting pig. You should know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal. Mmm. Devour. Devour. Mm. That's terrible. That's such a terrible thing. It's disgusting, in my opinion. It's immoral. But there's like... An incredible amount of noodles downstairs in a container to put into this that I have no room for. I'm assuming if you eat it in the restaurant, they have big ass bowls, right? Big soup bowls. So, seafood pho, what's in it? Fish balls, fish cakes, some kind of squid, I don't know if that's a tentacle or something. Delicious penne's. Delicious. I only eat penne. Penne, penne man. I want the penne. And shrimp, along with your noodles, um, jalapeno, um, basil. And it actually has, um, bean sprouts. I didn't put any of the bean sprouts in. Typically, bean sprouts are really good in, like, ramen. But I felt it was gonna be too messy to eat here. I tried to eat it. They'd be flopping around and the broth would go everywhere. So, bean sprouts should have been in there. They weren't. That's really good. That's absolutely good. I love the pho. The pho. I would give this... Probably, I'd give it 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for seafood pho that I've had here. The noodle bowl was very disappointing. Um, I was expecting it to have flavor. And the noodles are bland. The lettuce is bland, the cucumbers are bland, the carrots are bland. The only thing that has flavor is the beef and the peanuts. So again, when your whole dish is going to rely on me pouring this sauce into it to give it flavor, and I tasted the sauce and I don't really like it, that's kind of a problem. All right? So I am disappointed. And like I said, each one of these was about the same price. I, you know, I love the pho and I don't like the noodle bowl. So it's kind of disappointing. Once again, I ordered Vietnamese food and there's something I didn't like. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. 
Gin is gray. <laughs> so anyway, it's just, it's bleh. I say five, a five out of ten. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? We just had a troll in the chat. Celebrate gout 100. So, har har har, Phil had gout earlier this year. I think it's like funny to bring that up. Look, another one, fall gout. How is this funny? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's oh, another one. Playing. How's the gout, the Phil? Oh. <laughs> another idiot. This is great. How's the gout? Oh, the gout. Hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gouty fat, but feels the gouty fat, but it's certainly edible. The ingredients are fresh, you know. But when it, when most of it's bland, I can't give it a good rating. I need good flavor, and there's like almost no good flavor in there. It's just reliant on the beef and, and pouring a sauce over it. And if you don't like the sauce, you're, you're, you're boned. Obviously, they, that's, that's not right. It shouldn't be like that, okay? All right, guys. Thank you for joining me for Feasting with the King. The fall was delicious. The noodle bowl stuck. Sucked. What are you going to do? But uh, that's life. At least I got, unlike the last time I ate Vietnamese, at least I liked half of what I ate. So that's a good thing. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. And by the way, happy Halloween, even though I'm in half a costume. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed another Dance Be Tries It. I'll see you next time.